Hey everyone, welcome to West Coast Muscle Saws. I want to show you a Husqvarna 440 X Torque Mark II. It's the uh, one, uh, there's a lot of issues with this ignition on here, and a lot of guys aren't aware of it, technicians and some of the homeowners, consumers. It's a hard one to diagnose, I'll tell you that. And I'm going to start this and let you listen to what it's doing. That's all it'll do. You know, just shooting from the hip there, you, it sounds kind of like it's starving for fuel, you know. You'll go through the carburetor and do different things. And, and then if you check, let me show you something here where it really stumps you. You uh, think it might be a, an issue with the electronics. And using a high output tester spark plug, you can see that there, it's a very handy tool. I got a ground strap on mine, makes it easier to ground out. And let me see if I can get that up there where you can see it. <clears throat> the blue snapping fire. Telling you you got good fire, so you're back to checking other things out. But what it is, is they had an issue with this module. And uh, it breaks down. As soon as it starts up, it'll break down internally. So it's a really tough one to diagnose, but it's very very common on this particular model but now be aware you're going to need your serial number to match up this electronic because uh, in production they uh, discovered that they had that issue and uh, so they changed out the module on different models of this one with a serial number break so make sure if you're trying to get ignition for this you've got that serial number and uh, production number and you'll have this thing back up and going again. I'm going to put this new module on it. And in the next video, you'll see how good it runs. It's a very tough one, guys, but be aware it's out there. And hey, I don't mean to pick on Husqvarna. I pick on steel, too. If there's issues, you guys need to know about it. Uh, you know, this is some of the issues we run into. We see them a lot here. This is uh, a lot of chainsaws out here on the West Coast. And uh, so these, uh, these issues pop up. And when they pop up consistently like that, I like to show the guys so they can be aware rather than spend an hour diagnosing a lot of these issues that, they're, that are hard to find. Steel's got their issues too, you know, I've showed you many different issues on that. And uh, hey, it's a matter of getting that saw back running again and getting it in the hands of that operator. So, you guys got any questions, you know how to get all the chainsaw guy.